welcome to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. So today we are going to talk about some fabric hauls and some other things. But before I get started, I want to share with you what I just made. And if you're interested in crafting, you know, paper crafting and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're interested in learning how to make bracelets, um, I do that as well. Um, this one I made, this is actually out of Jasper beads. And then this is just a little elephant for good luck. And um, so I make them in different sizes, different colors. I make them with the elastic. I make them with the wire. So if that's something that you're interested in, just comment below. We could do a tutorial. Um, and then again, you know, I make this little cute little pouch for uh, my receipts. So all of my receipts are in here to use as a write-off. But I'm thinking of creating a little like order form, not for orders that I get, but orders that I, I make. Because I can't remember some of the things that I order because it takes so long to get here. Part of the fabrics that I have now to show you is I ordered in March and I just got them this past Saturday. So that, that goes to tell you how far or, or, or you know how long because of everything that's going on, it takes to get things in. Um, I wanted to order some resistant, uh, water resistant canvas online and it was going to take 45 to 60 days to get to me. And I just thought oh, by that time, I'm going to forget what the world I ordered that for. So what is even the point? I'm just, I'll just not order it. I'll just save my money. So I did, I didn't order anything. Cause it just, again, by the time I get it, I'm, I'm going to be like, why did I order this? Right. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to share with you and I, again, I love butterflies, green for money, bring me prosperity, right? Bring my business growth, but I put my receipts in there so that I could do right up at the end of the year. Um, initially when I started this channel and my Etsy shop and my Instagram and I did create a Facebook page, I, cre I did this just really just be to document my makes and um then i thought well you know why not why not offer it to people that want to buy it because i did get interest my my other channel was called ej style and i closed it deleted it completely i had more followers there i had tutorials on there and people things i made people had reached out to me to want to buy and so i decided to go ahead and create a business um and so that's what this is and so i need my receipts and so instead of having them like i did in this drawer here by my printer at the desk you know my desk drawer and my wallet i thought you know what let me just find one central place put this here i'll put it on my desk i have this little like stand there and i kind of put it on the side and you know what's the, i mean look at this doesn't that make you look happy or not make you look happy make you feel happy looking at the the colorful butterflies I love them. And I just realized that these are roses in the back. They're roses. Excuse my nails. I, I was going to polish them, but I haven't. Um, anyways. Oh, excuse me. I was about to yawn. Anyway, so I have my receipts in there and I think I'm just going to create a form and then write down, you know, when I ordered where from where and then what I ordered. Cause I know that I ordered double things. Um, with this one that I got Saturday and then another one that I haven't got is they're still processing. So, um, yeah, and there's some things I'm still waiting for to make some projects, but there are other projects I can get started on. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, so let's get started. So we went to Joanne's last week. We went yesterday as well, but yesterday I didn't get any fabric. I just got uh, some yarn and that was it. But anyway, um, my, every time we go, my husband, he gets fat corners. And for some reason, I feel like Joann's doesn't restock their fabric or their fat corners. Um, and whatever fabric they have behind the cutting, the cutting area, they don't put it back on the floor. Anyway, this Joann doesn't because every single time we go, there's less and less fabrics on the, on, you know, on the shelves. And we've gone when they just open and, there's nothing there. It's all behind the counter. And it's like, well, how fair is that? We don't know what's back there. They don't let us back there to look at it. So, and then it's all like compact in those little carts. So how could we even see what's there to see what we want? So I'm getting irritated with Joann's. They need to get it together and they need to restock 
those things and put more stuff out on the floor because there there's not much there's a lot of fashion fabric jerseys and all of that fleece flannel there's all of that but cotton fabric it's all behind the cutting table and that's not fair for the rest of us that go and want to buy stuff and they don't put it back like they should have someone go at least take five at a time and put them back you know or ten at a time put them in a cart and put them back i mean that would be that easy but they don't so i don't know so yesterday when we went, um, I'm telling you this story because I gotta look at my dog. Sometimes he has seizures and he was moving and it kind of, it kind of scared me a little bit. Anyway, um, yesterday we went. We were in line. We went when they just got, you know, they're barely gonna open. And um, you know, some people don't take what's going on in the world seriously, and they don't wear their mask, and nor do they respect your space. And I saw this while we were in line. There was these three, the two ladies, the grandma, the daughter, and then the, the, the daughter of the daughter, right? So the mom, the grandma, and the daughter, we're going to say that. The little girl must have been four or five. She had a mask but wasn't wearing it. The grandma didn't have a mask. The mom, she would have it, but she only had it like hanging from one ear, wasn't even wearing it. And it was a little irritating because... There was an older lady in front of me and, you know, she must have been in her late 60s. And this little girl was kind of like all over the place, touching the walls, touching the bench. There's like a bench right there. And then just moving around, running around the people. And, you know, people are, are trying to respect that six feet space. And here's this little girl that just, and no one's telling her nothing, running around everywhere. And it doesn't matter if you have your mask or not because the germs are all over the place, right? So anyway... Um, while we were in line yesterday, that kind of irritated me. And I was like, I don't even, you know, I don't know that I want to go to Joanne's and stuff like that because I've gone to the fabric stores and the people literally respect your space. And, but Joanne's is another story. And there, or there's just, you know, these people every once in a while that just don't get it. That you got to stay six feet apart. Wear your mask, wear your gloves. If you don't have gloves, then don't wear them. But Wear your mask and, and respect that person in front of you and behind you and keep your kid next to you, you know, because that kid could be carrying a germ that then someone like that lady or even myself or anyone else could pick up this germ from, you know, just, just saying. It's just a little irritating. Sorry about that. I just had to let it out. So we went and got some fat, well, not fat, clothes. I got fas fashion, get it together fabric and my husband has a thing with fat quarters and he got one of whatever was available one of the ones is this one this one's cut up because i used it as a mask i actually had a different mask with like a london print it was really nice and blue and orange just really happy and i i love that those colors and i loved that it was london i really want to go to london so i thought okay i'm gonna wear it make a mask i'm gonna manifest this and make my mask but everybody and their mother had that one. And then they would come to me and say, oh, I like your mask because they were wearing the same one. And I, even though we're wearing a mask, you know, mine has a filter in it. But still, don't come six feet, close, you know, stay six feet away from me. Don't, don't, there's boundaries here. Don't cross that because it's a serious thing out there. And these people just do that. So I said, I'm going to change my mask. And I did. And I use this fabric and it's birds with some trees and stuff like that. And this is a, this was a fat quarter that my husband chose and I was supposed to do something else with it, but I made a mask, um, because I figured I'm going to do something different. So people don't, they don't cross my boundaries. You know, sometimes I just want to create a big plastic bubble and say, stay away. Um, and then here's another one, just, you know, beige with little polka dots on it. And these are just fat quarters that he chose. That was what was there. Like I said, they don't restock or it feels like they don't restock. So I'm just going to go through the fat quarters really quick. I promise there's some good stuff in here. Not fat quarter wise, but I don't know what this is. Maybe a cork open opener. I don't know. But he's like, I'm just going to get one of each. And he did. This was what was available. Um, Because they're, they're not, I feel like they're not stocking. Um, And this, I, I was looking at it and I'm like, this is a dinosaur of some sort. If you look at it. So yeah, and then I got this cotton. I like this for linings. I love the, the you know, this, the, the sky type thing. And then I got a couple of white ones. Um, this has some floral print, print on it. Hopefully you could see it, um, but that is one. I got them for lining, linings. Um, here's another one. 
And again, this one has some kind of print on it as well. Hopefully you can see that. And again, these are just for lining and I only got because I wanted some kind of solids. And I did wash them. I just haven't pressed them yet. Normally I wash and I press them. Then I put them away. And then I got some canvas. So I got blue canvas. Red canvas. Oh, excuse me. Let me grab this. I want to get some other colors. Uh, hopefully I can earn a little bit more money and I can get some more on this beige type canvas. And yes, I wash all of my canvas. I wash everything right when I get home because you just don't know, right? We got to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm washing everything. And if I can clean it, wipe it down, I do that. My husband thinks that I'm going crazy, but no, I'm not. Then we got some little handkerchief things. These ones we got at a fabric store. Um, you know, I think we can use them as lining or we could use them as mask. But... And I had another color, but my husband kept that one. So now we're going to get into the fabrics. Um, so we went to a fabric store and I was just basically looking for some types of lining. The fabric store we went to, I, I wasn't very happy with it. So it was a different one than the one we normally go to. That's 30 minutes away. This one's a little bit further. Um, but I just kind of wanted to see what they had. Maybe they would have something different in the I didn't really like a whole lot of things. So again, I was looking for more solids. I didn't really find anything, but I was like, well, let me just get what they have. So the first one that we have is this one here. I thought it would be a cute, uh, you know, lining for a bag. So I got that. Um, and then they're making you order, they're making you get one yard so increments. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Then I got this gray one. So sort of like that blue one that I got at Joann's. These ones I paid $3.50 for. So $3.50 a yard, which isn't bad. I don't mind going. That's why we go to the fabric store because you can get some things that are $3.50 a yard minimum, but then they go up as well. So just depending on the fabric that you get. Um, and these ones, I, again, I just got for linings and that's why I stuck to the $3.50 side. Um, and then there's this one. I thought this was really fun and colorful. Um, so that's why I got that one. And then here's another one that I would use for a lining. I kind of like this. It looks like little ornaments. Um, I don't think I'll use this for a lining just because I like the print of it. I think it's really fun and vibrant. Uh, so I do like this. So maybe do a project bag with that one. So that one's cute. I like that. Then, so when I went to Joann's and paid six something for that cloud fabric, I found it for $3.50 at the fabric store. Same one. And they're 100 percent cotton. I don't get the I don't get broadcloth or the 50, you know, polyester one. I don't get that. Then I got this little cute one for a lining. It's just little leaves and stuff like that. And I, I you know, was trying to get different colors because 350 isn't bad, right? And I really like this. I wish I would have got more of this next one I'm about to show you because I really like it. And I'm hoping that. When I go to the other, the, the store I normally go to, I'm hoping I can find it there. But look at this green. Is that not pretty? Look at the print on there. I don't know. I like this green for some reason. I'm very attracted to it. I should have got two yards and I only got one yard. And then we got this cute little, um, I don't know, royal stuff. This could be for like a mask or something. So we got that. And then this one, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. It had little balls and little diamonds and stuff. At first I thought those could be like butterfly, and not butterflies, um, ladybugs. But I don't know. They're just like, like little circles. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that would be cute for a lining on a bag. And another, another one I got was this other one. So this could be work either or an outside of a bag or inside of a bag. And then this other one as well, I do like this. Oh, wow, I just made, think that might look good right there. This could be a lining. Um, and I got some good fabric coming up. Just give me a second. Now, I really like this. And this I made a project bag with. And I wish I would have got more. Let me show you the bag I'm talking about. Okay, let me go grab it. Okay, so here's the project bag. 
that I made, and you can see I do use it. Got little feet at the bottom. And it's this one here, this orange. I wish I could have got more of that one as well. The green one and that one, I think, I'm hoping I can find it at the other one. Maybe I'll go next week or something, but as you can see, here it is, there's the orange. And I really like how that looks. So I'm um, hoping I can find this one. If not, I don't wanna to have to go to that one because it's a little further. I'll go back to that one because it's a little further, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna check out later in the week. I'll probably go to the one that I normally go to and um, see if they have that one and the green one. And if not, I'll just have to go to the other one. And then we got this one as well, which I thought was really fun for like an inside aligning or something. And so those are the ones, this is all the ones we got at the fabric store, you know, at 350 a yard. That's not too bad. And then, so I ordered some fabric. Now y'all know. Y'all know I love Tula Pink. So I got this one and really like how those birds are there. And so I'm thinking that I don't know what I'm gonna make, but I really like the colors. I like the bird. I just, you know, and then if you look at the green, that kind of matches it. See, I kind of like that too. Anyways, so I got this one. If you look close, you'll see the two birds right here. Um, that's Tula Pink. That's one of the orders that I ordered. I think I got a duplicate. I think I ordered it from another shop because I forgot what I ordered because it takes so long to get here. Um, so I think I ordered more of it and that's fine. I love Tula Pink. Um, then I got this one, which is Tula Pink and I wish I would have ordered more of this. And then I ordered more of the owl. If you remember, I ordered some of the owl last time from Etsy and it was really small. Um, so I ordered some more. I really like the owl. Um, but again, I think I ordered some more of this at the other place as well. I don't know. And then I really like this fabric. I thought it was really fun. Um, and then when I look, I look at it, when I got it, I was like, oh, I didn't know this was here. Because I didn't really look at it, but I liked it. You know when you see something, you know, oh, I like that. And you just kind of stick it in your cart. Um, it was like impulsive buy. I guess that's what this was, impulsive buy. So this is the Luna, the Luna one, I think it is. Yeah, it's De, Lu De La Luna. So it's De La Luna. I didn't realize these were real bats. So there's some, not real bats, but there were bats. The actual face is there too. So, but I like it, still like it. Um, so I got this one and I think I'm going to make something with, for my daughter with this. So yeah, that's going to go with that. And then I ordered this one. I know it's kind of blinding, right? But honestly, if you look at it in person, it's not that blinding. But I kind of like how that goes together too, because there's purple and kind of brings it out. Um, so I do like that. But again, um, these are just my tulip pink that I ordered. I did order, like I said, I do have, I think, two more fabric two or three more fabric orders yeah i know guys very yeah it was impulsive but you know i thought you know i need more fabric to put back into my business like some of these other ones that i got here from the fabric store these also could be masks if i needed them to be but i have enough fabric for mask making um if anybody wanted masks you know i i have that if you know there was a place that needed kids or um, somebody that needs a donation, then I would definitely make those masks. I do have them for sale on Etsy as well. So if I get sales, then, you know, that will be for that because I have them separate. This side is going to be my creative side. That side is my mask making side. Um, this side is my clothing side. But again, um, and I'm talking about my, my cutting tables because the bands, how they're set, sit, set, huh? situated <laughs> there we go um let me take a drink of my water give me just a second so yeah i just have different sections because i moved my cutting area around um because this the middle section was like a uh, long way so i couldn't get to the in the the little cubby holes because I'd have to take out the front ones and then pull those through. Um, and the only reason why I had done it that way was because it gave the cutting board more support. Now the way I have it, it only has support on the, the ends and the front. So almost like a U shape. So that backside has no support anymore. 
um, because of the way I moved it. But that's temporary and I know not to press a lot of pressure on here so that way it doesn't fall over or do anything like that. But, you know, it, I think it's okay for now. So, yeah, that is my little fabric haul. I will have another fabric haul coming up. I do, um, I did order some embroidery um, sheets from Amazon and I did get some, you know, hardware and stuff like that. But I think the next thing I'm going to make is the top from Ger Gertie Sews Vintage. Um, and I think we'll just, we'll do that together. I, I have to cut the fabric out. I just, all I did was trace my size and cut that pattern piece out. And um, so the next step is probably to cut the fabric out and then we we'll could do a sew along with that one. And that's about it. That's all I have. That's all that's been going on this past, you know, I know I hadn't vlogged in a couple days and that's because like Thursday, all I, all I did was clean and do laundry. And then Friday, I, you know, I didn't sleep well, so I was really tired and I, you know, I did some studying and then I just said, don't forget it. I'm just going to have a lazy day. And then Saturday, so what did we do on Saturday? Cause, oh, Saturday is when we, no, Saturday we went to get to the fabric store. And so that took a while because we had to go to another county. You know, we live in LA County, we had to go to Orange County and, you know, the line wasn't too bad so that, you know. I, I, you know, that was good, but the bad thing about it was there was hardly any carts in there. So we had to carry all of these fabrics, you know, so that they can get cut. Um, and that was the bad thing about it. But, and then I, I noticed that nobody again was, uh, practicing social dis distancing. And it's just like, if you go into the store and you, it's like, they forget, you know, and I get it, you get, but you got to respect people are in masks for a reason. That should be the reminder of keep your distance, right? I don't know. Now I've got a headache. <laughs> anyway, so that was my fabric haul. That was my little uh, project that I made uh, using my laminator and my paper. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so upset because I had my laminator out, my papers. I was going through them, showing you all the different books I had, selecting the paper, putting it in the laminator, making the slit, you know, so telling you how I was going to create some things and that went to waste. That's just so annoying. Um, and so again, if you're interested in making bracelets, I do make them with wire. I make them with the elastic. Let me know. We could do that. You know, we could do a tutorial on that. Um, and if you're interested in making little, um, project, uh, what are they called? Project savers. I think they're called. Um, I do make those too. So I don't have those listed on my Etsy, but I do make them. I made some for myself. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that or interested in learning how to do any of this laminating things and projects like, you know, binders or books or maybe some gift box that you may want to make, you know, for Father's Day coming up, birthdays, whatever. Let me know in the comments below because I do do crafts and I do do, I do make jewelry and I just may even just do a make along, you know, I may just bring out my beads and stuff like that and let's just see what we create i did make bracelets before i mean necklace and earrings um i mainly just stick more to bracelets and stuff like that but uh, uh stitch markers that's what they're called and stitch markers i know you know and i'll use these i'll use different little you know owls or whatever silver owls excuse me just different things but yeah now i feel like i'm just rambling so I'm going to let you go. I hope that you enjoyed my video. And again, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we're going to have a lot of cool things coming up. I've just, you know, lately been in a little bit, in bit busy. And then today it's kind of gray and rainy outside. And that puts me in a funk. And when I'm in a funk, it blocks my creativity. And I don't know if you feel that way when it rains or if it's cloudy and gray outside. It, it bothers me, especially because the... The inside of my, if you could see the brown walls, it gets darker in here. And so it makes, just makes me feel like, oh, I can't move. I can't do anything, you know, even though I, I can, but it just puts, it dampens my mood and it blocks my creativity. So sometimes, you know, I, I don't, I'm not doing anything because of the way it's making me feel. I think if the walls were a, a lighter color, I wouldn't feel that, feel it that much. But, you know, got wood floors and brown walls. Like, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, now I'm rambling and complaining. And you don't need to hear that. So, we'll talk soon. 
Don't forget to hit the, that subscribe button and comment below if you would like to do some crafting or some jewelry making. Um, we will do some sew alongs because I'm planning to do that with the top. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that and another fabric haul when my orders get here. Bye.